there comes a time in the life of a broken nation when no sectarian interests, no willful indifference can provide anyone any safety. That time is now and is the reason I support any action by any Zimbabwean to end Zimbabwe's long nightmare, including what is being planned for the 31st of July. Nom Karanga, Nom Zezuru, Nom Ndelele, Nom Manyika, no politically connected businessmen or politically affiliated union, no policeman, no soldier is safe from the ravages of ZANU-PF's corruption, incompetence, brutality, and from a pandemic that is only getting worse because of the conditions they have created. Until we understand the horrendous consequences of our tendency to reduce everything to a contest of ideas, viewpoints, and slogans, when we should be taking the ultimate stand to survive, more Karanga pensioners will die in abject poverty. More Ndebele children will starve to death. More Manika families will die from preventable diseases. More Zezuru women will die at childbirth. More young people will continue to be abducted and brutalized for demanding the kind of leadership and governance that creates jobs and secures their futures. And Zimbabweans in the diaspora will continue to suffer tremendous mental and physical stress from working two to three jobs, not to mention the xenophobia, the racism, and the desperate longing for home they must endure. Remember, there is no Superman coming to do for you what only you can do for yourself, and that is to take your freedom. Is there not a cause?